A couple of videos ago, I designed these rocket factories behind me. Sugarcane farms and gunpowder farms in one, and today we're going to build them. And here we are flying over some of the iterations I made of these gunpowder factories and I built them all over water but as I said in the video they can be built over land so that's what we're going to do today I've cleared out an area right here and welcome dudes and dudesses to this video it's a tutorial and if you want to know more about these uh, please watch the video that I made before today we're going right into it we start by building five up placing a chest and a hopper pointing into that chest on that chest we place uh, 24 minecarts on a rail like this because we uh, this farm works with entity cramming so this is the middle of the farm and 24 and then we build out eight blocks uh, like this to either side that side and over here we build out eight blocks as well we go up there and remove that one and then eight blocks out and eight blocks because that is the length that water will travel. We make a temporary block and build a border like this and we just build all the way around like so. And we don't need these. And then you can see if I place water down here that it will flow right there and it will flow right there. And uh, eight is the magical number in this farm. So now we just build it up too high like so and this is where the creepers will go now we find the middle again and we build out eight to this side and eight to the other side and then we kind of close it off by going eight out here as well and it should form a square like this and now we just have to fill out this square and make squares in the others as well let me place the final blocks down and you should have something looking like this. Now I already built up that side of the sugarcane farm so I'm in practice for showing you how it's done. You have to go out two more like this. It was eight to begin with, now it's ten and you would just fill it out all the way like this. Then again we find the middle which is there and we place three blocks like this and now we just place four blocks like this because the water will be right there and then we place blocks like this if we build one layer they will stay if we build more it will be temporary blocks it goes out to the border and then you take your pistons they are not sticky pistons just regular pistons and you crouch and go in there and you place them like this and all the way out and i missed one right there there, there there and this final one could be a bit tricky you have to go out to the side like this the important thing is that there has to be eight and then we build up the other side like this now the water is going right there so the dirt has to be right here and now we can build out a border around it like this all the way over here meeting up with that one and we build a border all the way here and going down here and let's just speed it up a bit and we place dirt on this side as well this is where the sugar cane will grow just in case you're wondering and we make the border all the way there now it should look something like this now that one we don't really need and that one we don't really need because that's where our sugar cane will go i will just quickly fill in this we will build it two higher than it was like this all the way around like so and we build up this as well now on we have to place pistons that will break the top of the sugar cane and we just do this eight like this and then we can build a border more then we up them three high over the dirt and we place in these pistons as well like this this is what it should look like now we go underneath and we go down here you can see i've done it on this side and i placed a block there to hold in the minecarts and then i place one two hoppers 
like that and following the hoppers I just place eight blocks again because that's the length that water will flow and it should bring us right out here so if we bring this down and these down we should have a shaft that the sugar canes can fall into and we go all the way here we only need to go there but we'll just place this one as well and we will place eight here as well and if we now place the water on the back block right there you should see it running straight to there and it's opened and if the sugar cane will go into the chest but we just place a block there like that now i light up this not because of the sugar cane they don't need light to grow it's just for mobs and this is what it looks like now with both sides built up and if we take a look at the slabs over here as i said if you only want to build one layer you have to keep them but we need to build more layers so it's just temporary blocks and i will take them out now in the middle we will build a wall like this uh, and we will make it too high all the way so that nothing can spawn there and so that um, the water can flow and push the creepers down like this and now we need to place in some walls in this pattern right here and it is to help with avoid uh, spider spawning we do it on all four sides all four chambers like this and because it lets in light from the button you have to slap it off all of them like this to close off the light like this like this like this and now it's time to build the clock you just choose any side at this point and you place down a hopper three out like this and a hopper pointing into that hopper and then you break it and use another hopper then you just uh, make some temporary blocks right here and you place a comparator and a block and a comparator and a block and you're quite right it's the etho hopper clock the best branded and most useful redstone device in the game yes then you place redstone right here and sticky piston and sticky piston right there a redstone block and then you put 16 items which means you divide a stack in four in there and that's the perfect timing for this farm now you build up so it's even with the redstone and you pay, place a repeater right there and then you place you can break out these and then you break uh, place blocks all the way to the pistons right there and then you place place a block right there and a block right there and you do exactly the same on the other side you place blocks all the way to the piston and a block there and a block right there and now it's time to get a repeater and have it pointing into that block and you do exactly the same over here repeater pointing into that block a redstone torch and another repeater right there and you do the same here torch and repeater like this now on one side you put redstone it doesn't matter which side it is and on the other side you use repeaters multiple of them one two three four five and then with one that's that six and you put them all on four ticks to make a slight delay so that uh, when the water is in there one side will be flushed uh, flooded and one side will be able to spawn then you put in water remember it has to be water sources on all sides uh, on all blocks like this and you basically do this in all four spaces it should run out to here then you put redstone directly on top of the pistons and they should go down and you skip that one only on the pistons themselves like this and you of course do that on both sides and oh i missed one there now you can see the water it's uh, running and you can uh, close it stop the farm like this and you will just have to try which side it is because you don't want it to be off with uh, no water on it because mobs will be able to spawn so in this case it's over here so you can see when it's off there's water on on the platform now you place in two repeaters right there and you build it up so uh, the chamber is too high like this all the way over and then it's time to put in the trap doors because as you probably know uh, creepers are a bit lower than other mobs so by doing this we will actually avoid getting zombies and uh, skeletons one side done now we have to do the other like this 
and then you have to slap it all off to make it spawn proof so everything that can be slapped off should be slapped off and it includes when we get down here the corners in there and then it's just slapping everything off that can be slapped off so like this the whole thing is slapped off like this now if you only want to make one layer of sugarcane farms you should slap the pistons off and all the way around so nothing can spawn on it but as I talked about in the video, this uh, gunpowder or this uh, rocket factory actually is supposed to be make as much gunpowder that is needed to the amount of sugarcane. So we will need three layers to do this. You can see I have some designs behind me that are uh, a little bit different. Here I will just build it straight up on the sides because then you it won't affect the spawning rates of the uh, creepers. So we place in uh sugarcane and water like this in all the chambers like so like so and then we build up three high and we make uh dirt right there that's where the next layer will grow so we go two up and we place a piston right there that is the outline for the next layer and then we basically just fill it in with dirt stone more dirt like this and stone stone and we need some more stones right here up there too high and a piston right there oh yep and here we need to have water besides the dirt uh, for the uh, the reed the sugar canes to grow so we need to put something under and something over to hold in the water so we just do like this and like this and then we ha have this kind of chamber if you look in here where we can have water and uh, we do exactly the same on this side like so and so and then we need to put in the water but we have to have something to hold it back so i just place blocks like that and see that i place it all all out on the sides we don't need that one and then you can go in here and you can put in water right there it should flow all the way because it's eight again so we close it off like this and now we should be able to plant the uh, sugar cane all the way tuk, 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 and the same over here tuk, 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 tuk. no no tuk, no tuk. something is wrong hang on oh yeah okay we just built this out i did it wrong so it must be a block right there and yeah the water flows all the way we're good to go again now we can build this up like this like this all the way and now you're ready to place in another layer of pistons like that stone pistons and oh i was one too far out there so we just place stone there and we build up the sides like this like this and this is what it should look like with two layers now oh i forgot to plant something there and if we go down here you can see that uh, there's a room underneath the dirt and maybe i'm paranoid as i said in the other video but i don't want anything to be able to land there no we, do, we want a lossless farm so i'm just putting in a block underneath the dirt now the next layer I'm going to speed it up because it's exactly the same like this I just built it a bit different so you can see another way to do it two up and then I build a block like this and then I actually take out the block again that's another way to do it this is the water chamber so I built two blocks up and make it too wide and then I build like this but it's exactly the same way to do it like this and like this and like this and now we have something like this and we place down the dirt like so this is just the tedious task of filling in blocks it's exactly the same so i will speed the process up in the video when we get to that so like this and maybe i will play a song is it time for a song no there isn't this is how it looks we got if we look down here we got three layers now and if you see the sugar cane we can build it up so it's three high this is the top that uh, the piston breaks then we have one stone then we have a dirt with water behind it then we have sugar canes going three high 
we have uh, stone dirt with water behind it and three high again now if we go back here you can see we just need to put in water on this one as well just like we did before like so and now we have these exposed pistons and if we only put blocks on these you can see that we will have some uh, blocks sticking out that are shorter that's how we can recognize them uh, distinguish them from uh, those who are holding the waters and we just put them there quickly like this and up here as well and now we have to connect this up so that the pistons will fire as you can see there's long ones and there's short ones the long ones are actually the one holding the water i made them this way deliberately even though there's no water there it starts there so you can see the difference the short ones are the pistons and i put redstone on them like this as you see all of them and the way we make them fire is from a central point we place an observer right there and then we connect it with redstone right there and we place an observer looking at that and there's nothing to fire here so we can place a block on top of that and then redstone like this and then we take an observer looking at that and there we need to connect it because it fires and then we take an observer looking at that nothing to fire there so we place a block right there and redstone and then we place an observer and connects it up and this should be uh, good for firing all the pistons uh, on all levels like this if we go to the other side like this we uh, can watch it yeah it fired there did you see it let's just wait for the next cycle uh, it should yeah there it was again so it's working now all we have to do is to fill up uh, fill out this whole side here and we filled out the side and uh, the sugarcane farm is finished all we have to do now is slab it off all the way around so we don't get unwanted spawns like this now we also have to slap on uh, this side because you can see it's too high so mobs would be able to spawn in here but if we slap it off uh, it they won't so we just need to quickly slap off uh, these one and these are the long ones holding the water like this and now we just need to finish the other side <laughs> Well, hello there. See what I've done. I've built up the other side of the farm and I've built the AFK point as well. And the way I built the AFK point is if we go underneath here, you can see the low no that one the lowest far the part that the creepers will be in is here. If we just take it away, you can see it's the water stream. So this is our starting point. If we go out like this, you can press F3 and you can look at the block and if you look over here you can see the y coordinates is 78 so we have to uh, uh, add 128 to that and then we have to remove like seven or something and that is a perfect afk spot for this uh, but we also need to address this with lighting because otherwise uh, mobs will spawn underneath and i just need to start it and i'll need to uh, because now I started it, uh, the sugarcane has grown and I want to test it now. Let me go AFK up here for an hour and see what we get. But uh, let me just check right here. It is 199. So that is the AFK spot for this. But see you later. All right, dudes and dudesses. Let's see how much this farm has produced. So let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five, and more than a half, and one, two, three, four, and a half. So there's still a surplus of gunpowder, even though we have this, but this is the result. I hope you liked this video. If you did, do leave it a like. It helps out the channel immensely. And uh, if you're brand new, subscribe, hit that belly button and all that jazz. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>